Government data, Tamil Nadu is home to nearly 10 lakh migrant workers. The entire industrial and manufacturing sector in the state can come to a halt without the workforce from northern India. But why am I telling you this? Because trouble started in the state when videos allegedly showing migrant workers being beaten up went viral on social media. A sense of panic and fear among the Hindi-speaking community prompted even the Tamil Nadu chief minister to issue a statement saying that all migrants are safe in the state and he will do everything to protect them. The videos have since then been dismissed by the police as false and mischievous, but the opposition is up in arms, alleging the DMK is peddling hate against North Indians. So this is how exactly this entire row has panned out. First, the videos of migrant workers allegedly being attacked emerged on social media. Then Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar expressed concerns over these videos. Tamil Nadu DGP though said that these videos are fake and mischievous. Tamil Nadu BJP Chief Anna Malai blamed DMK for quote, exodus of migrants from Tamil Nadu. The Chief Minister issued a statement promising action and vowing to protect all migrants. Nitish Kumar also sent a four-member team from Bihar to Tamil Nadu to probe the matter. The Bihar government panel eventually said that they are satisfied with the Tamil Nadu government over the safety of Biharis and other migrants. <coughs> now, a case has been filed against Anna Malai, the BJP chief, for promoting enmity. Anna Malai has dared cops in Tamil Nadu to arrest him within 24 hours, claiming he has only highlighted the government or the DMK's view against migrants from other states. While the DMK and CM Stalin had called the videos misleading, BJP has demanded the CBI inquiry into alleged attacks. Chief Minister Stalin has vowed to protect all migrants. BJP though has slammed DMK claiming that Stalin and his party men are against North Indians. Chief Minister has asserted that legal action will be taken against rumour mongers. This is an attack on the BJP actually. While the BJP says the Chief Minister should first act against DMK ministers who have mocked North Indians or Hindi-speaking people. DMK has said that the alleged videos of the attack are an attempt to spread hate. BJP says it's the DMK, Stalin's party itself, that is spreading hate in the state. Finally, DMK has said that people from all sorts are welcome to work in Tamil Nadu. BJP also asserted that people from any sphere must be treated equally and well. On one hand, DMK claims to have provided safe space for migrants in Tamil Nadu. But the reality is several DMK leaders and even ministers, including the chief minister, have made offensive remarks against North Indians or Hindi speakers. You can look at it from either prism. July 2022, in a blatant anti-North hate speech, Tamil Nadu's revenue minister said, in fact, he advised Tamil traders to get rid of North Indian traders. June 2022, DMK spokesperson Ilangavan said that Hindi is the language of underdeveloped states and will make them shudras. May 2022, Tamil Nadu Education Minister said Hindi speakers are basically just Pani Puni sellers and they do menial jobs in Tamil Nadu. July 2021, DMK Minister KN Rehru called Biharis less brainy. At the same time, he also accused them of snatching away jobs from Tamilians. March 2021, MK Stalin accused BJP of conspiring to give jobs to Hindi speakers in state and get votes. So the big question we're asking, whether this row is on the back of some actual evidence or not, is there not a deep-rooted bias against Hindi speakers or North Indians that is growing in Tamil Nadu? लोग नफरत की राजनीति कर रहे हैं घृणा फैलाने उससे बचने की जरूरत है लेकिन फिर भी लोगों ने चिंता जायज की तो हम लोगों ने टीम भेजा है Introducing some of the guests who are joining us. Uma Nandan is Tamil Nadu BJP leader with us. Dr. Ajay Kumar is from the LJP General Secretary. LJP has also raised this issue. Their leader has visited Tamil Nadu to take up the issue, especially of Bihari workers. I'm also expected to be joined by DMK spokesperson and Suman C. Raman. 
But before we go to them, I do have an update coming in as far as the Tamil Nadu situation is concerned. So after these alleged videos of attacks that have gone viral on social media against migrant workers, Tamil Nadu government is now in the process of collecting a census of migrant laborers. We'll try and get you more of exactly why they've ordered this census. Are they also worried in some respect or is this just an exercise that they want to do to get an idea of how many migrant workers from which states etc work in Tamil Nadu. Let me go across to our guests who are joining us. Uma Nandan, I'm coming to you first up. Is it not a problem if the BJP is caught peddling lies, raising fear and paranoia amongst migrant workers in Tamil Nadu as you are being alleged, uh, uh, alleged for? No. See, first you must understand, go back in history. And another thing is, I would like to thank you. You made my job easier by quoting the various statements of hatred, venom, spit by the DMK MLAs and ministers. See, this sort of an issue started in the origins of the DMK party. Their saying was, the north is growing, vibrant, while the south is losing its sheen. During their early 60s, that was, uh, I just translated that for you. So, the seeds of hatred has been, was the foundation of this party. And I would like to ask Mr. Stalin, why has he not taken a action against any of his ministers or MLAs or spokespersons so far? So okay. many times in this last two years, and the Hindi hatred, repeated assault on the North no, Indians. There is and no defense the for those kind of attacks. The Umaji, one second. Umaji, one second. There is no defense for those kind of attacks. Yes. We've called out those statements ourselves, and I've read them out for a reason. But the fact that some of them have made these statements in the past is not an excuse for peddling fake videos. See, who did? Who, Papa, who was? I would like to quote Mr. Stalin. Leave the video out. I would like to quote Mr. Stalin during the recent Erod election. By election. He says, we are, the North Indians are being imported into Tamil Nadu for the sake of vote so that BJP can come to power. When no, that is can fine. You can question him on that, but you're not answering my Aaron. question. Ayer. If these videos are fake, Ayer. that's a problem. See, Nobody can defend videos. spreading Ayer. fake videos See, fake and highlighting videos. them the and creating fear and paranoia. One second, Mr. Sarvanan, once again, let her finish, then I'll come to you. Mr. Sarvanan, let her answer my question, then I'll come to you. Nothing to do with us. Let us stop lying. See, the fake videos have nothing to do with us. Even the DMK has always even put fake videos. Why? As recently as said, they attacked cars. They have always been spewing venom on cars, language, everything. Everything. It is fear venom. So sometimes it happens like that. A fake video. And when you truly make a statement, you don't take any action. What okay. is your reaction Let Mr. That? Sarvanan come in on that. Let Mr. Sarvanan come in on that. What fake videos, issues taken? aside... What is the reality, Mr. Sarvanan in Tamil Nadu is, under the DMK, there are repeated hate speeches against North Indians or Hindi speakers. Politics of language or whatever you may call it, ultimately it creates a divide amongst the public and it creates a certain perception against a certain section of the public. Mr. Sarvanan. It is, yeah, it is a little too rich for the BJP to speak about divisiveness and hatred. They are the masters of spreading hatred. They are in power only because they spread hatred. They are synonymous with hatred. They don't know the meaning of integrity. They don't know the meaning of love. That okay, is answer what my question, please. All about. I'm coming to it. I'm oh, coming to it. My yeah. God. See, see, yeah, the, no BJP no the, BJP, the BJP is responsible for these fake videos. I just showed you the BJP Bihar handle. This is the biggest culprit. Apart from this, Op India, several other prominent BJP leaders, they are spreading the fake news. But the sorry state of affairs is this. None of the BJP leaders, the union government is just enjoying the situation. We have never seen a union government which rejoices when two states fight or then artificial divide is created between two states. They are sitting and rejoicing. Okay. I am asking, what has the union minister done so far now? Is he not responsible for this? Earlier, they sent all the migrant workers. What has the chief minister done? Now, 
Now they are sitting and rejoicing. What has the chief minister done to stop the venom? Sent us to studios and saying they are justifying. She has not even been apologetic about the fake videos sent by the BJP. Now, okay, can I come in? I am not sure why minute, you are bringing the central minute, government minute, into minute, this. Minute, Law and order is purely a state subject. Minute, and if this is minute, between two states, those two states will handle. I am sure you don't want central government just intervention just in everything. Minute, madam, but I will repeat my question to you. Two of my guests have not spoken. I will repeat my question, yeah. Mr. Sarvanan. Yes. It is also rich of the DMK to talk about hate and divisiveness when your leaders are on record, including the chief minister... Not talking about minister. ethnicities no, that, or people's domiciles and creating hatred against them. No, this whole divide. It is not Let him respond. It is not about migrant workers. Hmm. It is about when the Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission, those posts were filled up by people who does not know Tamil because it requires Tamil. Okay, what about some when of your other leaders? Extent, so Pani Puri sellers yeah, and etc. That is, that is not hatred. You think that is not hatred. Pan you know what? Love. Are that is love. Children? That yeah, is love according to him. That Tamil people who have killed 12 Biharis. That is hatred. That is spreading panic. No, no, that is not defensible. But India, there is an issue of a south-north artificial Indian divide, right, Hindi versus Tamilian divide. That is also the made. part of politics of DMK. Let's not escape that. But let no, me go no. across to our other two panelists. Dr. Ajay Kumar is from the LJP. Are you concerned? about the situation in Tamil Nadu or do you believe the state is handling it well? No, no, we are very much concerned and uh, a, state, a state has come into the picture when our workers, our party president hit the streets in Bihar. Otherwise, both Tejasvi Yadav as well as Nitish Kumar were, denial, were in the denial mode. They were not accepting. See what Tamil Nadu needs to do. We are requesting them through the governor, please do it because it is not in the interest of India. It is not in the interest of economy. You probably are not aware that your economy is dependent on these migrant workers. No, actually, that's you may why possibly be the owners the chief of mills and factories. No, no, that's possibly why the sea chief minister gave a statement. the honor of factories. But they are saying, Mr. Ajay Kumar, they are saying these videos are not true. There is no attack. Videos. Because they have no choice. They know the consequences of it. That if migrant workers uh, stops going to Aray, Tamil yaar, Nadu, nothing their happened. economy is going to come to a stand still. Please, Aray, but stand. but that is so not that my concern. Okay, that but is yaar, for Tamil Nadu happened, to yaar. decide. Mr. Sarmanan, you, you, probably, you probably don't know. Your every enterprise is financed by Biharis. You are a deficit state. You are a deficit state, Mr. Sarmanan. But that is not my concern. My concern is Nitish Kumar. My concern is Tejeshwari Yadav. Okay. My Clearly, there is politics being played in Bihar over this. Why a Bihari is forced to go to Tamil Nadu and do a petty job? Okay. That's a larger question. Suman, Suman, I don't have a great video of yours. One second. One second, Mr. Rajay Kumar, once again, Sumanth, I don't have a great video yeah, yeah, yeah. output of yours, but I want to come to you. You are Ultimately, the problem and is... And then you are saying, can I come? I Mr. Kumar, please, please. Sumanth, ultimately, the problem is that no, even no. the DMK cannot escape the fact that there is a lot of rhetoric by them and their leaders against Hindi speakers. They may say it's language oppression, but it eventually comes out as discrimination against a certain language-speaking public. And they were also clearly worried because is, I think they see, they feel that these attacks can happen in Tamil Nadu. No, no, one, one, two, two things. First, these fake videos were circulated by handles associated with the BJP, including Prashant Umrao Patel, who is known to spread fake news multiple times in the past. So let us accept the fact that BJP associated handles and in fact, the official uh, Bihar unit of BJP also had put out some videos uh, alleging that they were attacked. Hmm. Now, the reason the LJP gentleman on the show is talking about, no, no, you can't do this. Nothing has happened. Nobody has been attacked. I mean, that is absurd for, uh, to, for us to carry out a debate on this yeah. particular 
point of uh, you know why spreading this fake news like happened because there was no attack no what has not sir, happened that is fake sir the attack has, has not been sir, your video has not been circulated nothing happened please Nobody clarify was attack. nobody was attacked nothing happened video got circulated sir, one, one moment what no, the video point. got circulated how many people you arrested where is the fir Sir, those Means videos are fake. Happened. What can Tamil Nadu police do? You want to hide Sir, a video from Chhattisgarh? What can Tamil Nadu police do? If you circulate a video from Chhattisgarh or from Andhra and say it is Tamil Nadu, okay? Can I come in now? Sorry, can I come in? Mr. Kumar, arrest people. 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 Mr. Kumar, Bihar is also investigating this matter. Maybe one Tamil Nadu can also one investigate second, this matter. But Suman, yes, Suman, my question to you is once again, no, Suman, one by one, please, Tamil one by one, only Suman and I, please. Suman, my question to you is: Is it also not time that DMK now in power, their sitting ministers, chief minister, etc., also dial down the rhetoric against outsiders, quote unquote? but this is not a new uh, feature for the dmk the dmk is a party that has grown by divisive policies by spreading hate exactly it, but they should still try and stop it against the brahmin community it has spread hate against hindi speakers it has spread hate against north indians it's not new for the dmk it's part of their dna it's part of the dravidian movement to create the other to mm. create a person who needs to be hated So this is not something new for the DMK. No, but that's why we're discussing it. It is something that the DMK it. has done consistently. It is the kind of politics which is equally vicious. The way that they, you know, uh, talk about the BJP, for example, and therefore they, they in power, the have the responsibility coin. to change this politics. They are two politics. sides of the same coin. The DMK and the BJP are two sides of the same coin. That's what I've maintained. I've said it. Years and years ago, and I've even posted it on Twitter. Okay, I'll give Uma Anandan thirty seconds because I'm completely out of time. I would like to come now. Just Uma Anandan, please thirty yes. seconds. Yes, madam. Two points I would like to raise. Two points I would like to raise. It is just not that physical attack. The verbal attack which has been going on is as dangerous, and the CM has not initiated any action. And second, I would like to tell that the, he that speaks about Mr. Mr. Stalin acted because it is a Nitish Rule state. It is a Nitish Rule state. If it had been a BJP Rule state, he would have turned his face. He would have kept quiet. His pan-India ambition. His pan-India ambition is at stake. That is why he is taking action now. So there is an ulterior motive in this. Okay, I leave it at that. I am out of time. Let's hope that this doesn't rear its ugly head again. All sides need to dial down these rhetorics. I have to slip down, slip into a very short break. On the other side, we'll get you a special. on a jet boost for indian jawans what are these jet pack suits more on that in just a bit